Hi and welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. Now a few days ago I did a Grosselcoin uh, mining video explaining how to get up and running uh, quickly and easily with Grosselcoin to mine it. And one of the comments I had on that video, and thanks for all the comments, I'm trying to get through those. I think I've got through most of those now. But um, one of the comments was, uh, could I set up a similar video uh, showing how to mine Electronium uh, for beginners? So that's what I'm going to do today. So I, I took a quick glance yesterday afternoon, downloaded the software, got it up and running. Um, and I just really wanted to talk you through the process uh, for doing that. So um, we're going to be uh, working out how to CPU mine with Electronium. I'm not going to go into GPU mining today. Um, but if that's something you're interested in, uh, leave me a comment below and I will endeavour to do a follow-up video probably the beginning of next week it will be now. But um, anyway, let's um, jump over to their website. So their website is electronium.com and as you can see, it's a mobile cryptocurrency, simple to use, powered by an app. And their blockchain is now live. You can download the app for um, the blockchain. I haven't actually downloaded this. You don't need this in order to to get mining but um they've delayed the launch of their online and mobile wallets but you can get offline wallets um, at the moment which is all you need to start mining but um anyway if you're interested in the coin you can have a look at their um web page there was an ico uh, basically for electronium uh, apologies for my voice um hopefully you can hear me okay but uh, i think i'm coming down with a, a cold i'm losing my voice a little bit but hopefully you can hear me okay um anyway they um they ran an ico they ra raised 40 million there was a hard cap um, and they got to that. So it looks like it's pretty successful um, ICO and there's information there on uh, Cryptopia at the moment. And there's information about um, various exchanges about the team and all the, the usual stuff you'd get. Um, and what's quite interesting for me is that they're actually based in the UK, which is a, a bit of a change from a lot of uh, tech companies. So so that was nice to see. But um, anyway, you can see here on CoinMarketCap, they're currently trading uh, just under eight cents and they've been live for so just over a day so but just over 24 hours now um but anyway that's a little bit of background you can go and do some reading um for yourself if you're interested in in this coin but um let's jump over and uh, i will show you how you can start mining so um there's just one page you need here which is a uh, downloads.electronium.com as always i'll put the links in the description below but um we're just going to be concentrating on this little bit at the top so what we're going to uh, do is download the beginners pool mining software create a wallet and start mining so the first thing you need to do um, as with any kind of mining is have a wallet where you can store the coins which you're going to mine so this has a browser version and a downloadable zip and it creates an offline wallet as i mentioned their online wallets are not available yet but you can just create a wallet here um, in which to send your coins that you mine to so um, i'd always recommend uh, using the download uh, version and then uh, disconnecting from the internet when you actually create your wallet to make sure that no information is being um, sent back if you, uh, you know, your uh, machine has been compromised or indeed if the website here has been compromised. So uh, click here to download the zip file. Uh, that will go uh, here, which you can see my downloads folder. So I've just downloaded that. You can also at the same time download the Windows Miner. So this is a beginner's pool mining software. So download that as well. And then you should have uh, two files in your uh, downloads folder where they download. Um, first of all, just extract the um, the offline wallet and Windows can do that natively. It's just a zip file. And then you can open up this is just an HTML file inside that. And you can open that up in your web browser, whichever web browser you want to use. And you can read here. So the Electronium Paper Wallet Generator. Um, there's no way to recover your funds if you lose your wallet keys, as always. So basically, this will create your not just your public address, but also your private keys for uh, backing up that paper wallet. So um, I created one earlier, obviously, um, but I'll show you how to do this. So if we could, let's get started. And then, like a lot of these, you just wiggle your mouse around. Sometimes you can type in characters and stuff like that, but this is just wiggle your mouse around. And there we go. So your Electronium wallet is ready. And then we can save the wallet as a PDF. Let's save that. And then if we go back to our downloads folder, uh, we'll now see that we have a wallet.pdf file. Um, so we can close uh, that page down now. So if we go back to the download, so here we have the electron, uh, Electronium offline wallet. And if you open that up, um, you'll see here you can kind of fold it up, but there's a public wallet address. And then there's a private view address and also a private spend address. Now, these are the ones that you never want to, to show to anybody. Never 
to your private spend address. So if somebody has access to that, they can get um, access to your coins. But um, and then it's got a folding instruction, so you can print that out and keep it somewhere safe. Um, all we need for now is this public uh, wallet. Now, as always, I've just put a little text file on my desktop with all the useful information. So this is actually my um, public uh, wallet address. So um, if you were to be taking it from here, you can just copy it uh, line by line. Now this is where you've got to be a little bit careful. So let's paste um, that into there and then we grab the next line, uh, copy that. Because I'm doing a screen grab, I can't use the shortcut keys, unfortunately. So I'm just having to do this in a little bit of a, a longer way but basically this is what you will end up with so you need to copy all three lines now that will create um, one wallet but it will have spaces in it so you just need to take those spaces out so be very very careful there's only one space so make sure you don't delete any other uh, characters but that will basically be your wallet address so that's the one that we just uh, set up uh, now and that we saved in this PDF so let's um sorry let's just jump over so that's one i just created now this is one i'm actually using i created these yesterday obviously i didn't want to step through that because you would be able to see my private keys so um we can delete this one safely now um so anyway so we've also downloaded the miner into our download folder so literally just double click that uh, click yes and then you can allow it to uh, step through the setup procedure now i've already done this but just click next until it uh, goes along and that will then set up the mining software on your computer and then if you go to your desktop you'll have a little button like this so double click it and this will open up so this is electronium pool miner and there's only um two things we really need to do so first of all uh, choose a pool region so choose your local region mines europe you can then choose the mining port so whether you have a low end mid range or high end cpu now i've got a, a ryzen 5 1600 so uh, that's quite a high end cpu so I, I chose high end cpu and then the wallet address that we created here we just need to copy that and put it into the wallet address here and then after that just literally click the start mining button now let me just stop let me just minimize that quickly now what you might find and this is where um, i think a few people were having problems with the gross coin mining video as well is that mining software is often picked up by your antivirus so what you need to do is find out where your mining software is installed now by default it will be i put mine in the d drive but by default it will be your c drive and then it will be um within data um sorry data is, is my d drive and there'll be users your username, app data, roaming, electronium. Now, sometimes app data and stuff like that is not visible unless you um, allow that within a window. So if you go to uh, view and folder options, and then in the view options, you need to enable the show hidden files, folders and drives. At the same time, um, untick this hide extensions for known file types. That also has caused people problems in the past with VAT files so somebody's creating a text file and they think they're saving it as a VAT file but they're actually saving it as start.bat.txt and because it's hiding the extensions for known file types they don't actually see the .txt at the, the end. Um, anyway so what we need to do for Windows Defender is it's always running in your uh, little taskbar here so double click that to open it up and then click the settings button here and then if we click virus and threat protection settings and uh, if we scroll down, you see there's a section called exclusions here. So add or remove exclusions. And you can see here I've um, added this folder. So I have excluded the Electronium folder here, which is just the folder you can see here. Now you literally just click add an exclusion. Folders often easier than the actual um, file itself. And then you can see here we're in the Electronium folder. This was the last one I did. You can just, um, open up this which is a cpu multi wolf aes miner this is the actual mining software so you could choose that uh, folder if you wanted um, but anyway if you add that exclusion that will make sure that windows does not delete your uh, mining software because what's happened in the past is that the actual electronium software can be sat there and then windows deletes this miner d.exe file and in that case often 
you'll be starting the bat file or you'll be starting the software and it will open for a fraction of a second then it will close down again and that's because uh, Windows in the background has actually deleted that file so make sure if you do have pro problems make sure it's um, added into your exclusion list it, sometimes it doesn't happen immediately with Windows um, often when you download this software it tries to get rid of it or when you install it but often it's just when it's doing a daily or weekly scan that it might kind of pop up and and then delete it so you could be mining successfully for you know a few days and then suddenly everything falls apart and you don't know why so first things to do is check that and, and add the exception in there so um anyway we've been mining for a few minutes you can see here we've got hash rate now that's showing up now the other thing we need to do is if we copy this uh, minor address from that or the text file if you go to help you can see electronium pools and if we go to europe which is the one that we've selected below what will happen it will load up the mining pool and then we can put our actually already done that but you can put your um, uh, wallet address here and click look up and it gives you some information about the mining pool stats at the top and then under here so it will search for that and then it will tell us some information about our wallet so um, it's found our wallet address there's a pending balance of 6.7 um, electronium that I've mined so as I said I set this up um, yesterday afternoon I've been sort of had it running sporadically since then I've, you can have a look at your total hashes submitted and your hash rate that will increase obviously we just started the miner up again recently um, but anyway yeah so um, it's as simple as that um, once you've set the mining up and left it running for a few minutes quarter of an hour or so go to the pool and put your wallet address in just to double check that something is actually happening. If we go back to the software, you can see here in the minor output, um, this should be showing you. So I've got it set for six threads at the moment. So this should update sort of periodically as it goes through submitting shares and, and stuff like that. So you can see thread one, 872 hashes. It gives you a, a hashes per second and then an overall hash rate here and this will update with information but the the best thing to do is, is pop to the pool and when you go to the pool make sure that you have selected the corresponding pool to you've selected here so if you go to asia and you've actually selected europe and um, nothing will show up in your minor when you put in your address here but anyway that's um how simple it is to get up and running with electronium so first things first download the or do the browser-based uh, wallet generator this offline wallet generator so create a paper wallet, get an address, download the uh, Windows Miner here. So download and install that. If you need to um, add it into the exceptions in Windows Defender so it doesn't get deleted, open it up, put your um, wallet address in, which is just here. Choose a pool, your local region. Choose whichever one of these CPU options is most relevant to you and the number of threads. Click start mining and then a few minutes later go through to the mining pool that you're on and double check that actually something is happening. But um, anyway, I hope that's useful. If you want GPU mining um, information, um, I presume you can GPU mine with this coin. I don't know. I haven't really looked into that yet. But um, if you can and that's something you want a video on, leave me a comment below and I'll endeavour to do that um, at the beginning of next week. But um, as always, thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.